Welcome to the World Tarot. This is going to be a reading for water signs for the 20th of October 2021. Holy Spirit, please describe the water signs who need to hear these messages the most today. And Holy Spirit, please guide the water signs who need to hear these messages the most to watch this video so they can get the clarity they need. Nine, nine, nine. Did you see that they were all in a row? Look, where? Look, wow. So God is with you. Pray to God. The angels are protecting you. You're protected, okay? Mm. No, I saw seven, 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 but they weren't right after the other, like the nines. That was very interesting that they all came one after the other like that. After I spread them out like that. So that's uh, no coincidence, right? Okay. Holy Spirit, show me the water signs. We need to hear these messages. Okay, you might have earth in your chart. Four of pentacles, maybe Taurus. Eight of pentacles. Yet yeah, a Taurus and Capricorn, right? I think. Okay. 48. Maybe you're 48. 48 years. Because the pentacles are years. Um... Or you're born in 48. Maybe you're older. Who cares? I don't know. Knight of Cups reversed. So someone's um, feeling like they have no love in their life. They might have stability. This person feels very lonely. Like they're holding on to their coins. They're working hard. But they have no love in their life. Maybe they don't have children. Maybe this is a woman who wanted to have children but never did. Mm. Or someone could have lost a child. What's with the Knight of Cups reversed? Eight of Swords. Someone's really stuck in their head about uh, their own childhood possibly. Or something that happened when they were younger. Or the loss of a child in the past. Or in the present. I don't know. Knight of Pentacles. Someone's holding on to something. And someone's working very hard towards something too. But they feel stuck, like they're not moving forward. And uh, if they're trying to heal something, it, they feel like it's not moving forward. The healing is not moving forward. What's with the Eight of Swords? Clarify the Eight of Swords, please. Clarify the Eight of Swords, please. What's happening here? Clarify. Seven of Wands reversed. Uh, so this is like a lack of good boundaries. This, The water signs here, they don't have such good boundaries or people have been overstepping their boundaries. <sighs> people have been gaslighting them also. So this person dealt with narcissists in the past, I think. But they're moving away. They're moving into calmer waters. They're trying to heal this. They also might, must, might have moved away from their family. They could have... Um, they could have lost a child, either lost a child because they had a miscarriage or they the child, you know, passed away or uh, could have been that someone took their child away from them. So it depends here. Ten of Cups reversed. OK, so this was the breakdown of a family. There were there was a lot of pain either in their uh, childhood home or in a previous relationship, a marriage, Seven of Swords. This person could have had to kind of like sneak away to run away. Maybe this is someone who ran away from home. Ow. Or their child ran away. Or they had to run away with their child. Okay, so I'm getting many messages here. It's a bit, uh, yeah. It's for many people. Could be for a different... Some of my messages are quite specific. Some of them are more, you know, for a wider range of people. This one seems to be have more options here. Okay. So we've got Ace of Wands with the King of Wands. Ace of Wands is in the upright. King of Wands is in the upright. So maybe they're going to have a new beginning with a fire sign. Uh, with someone who is very passionate. So who is this person? Maybe this is someone coming towards you. As you feel this way. You feel uh, defeated maybe. 
maybe someone is gonna help you maybe some you're gonna yeah you're getting a new beginning so does this person have good intentions does this king of wands have good intentions five of cups reversed two of swords this person hmm uh what ten of pentacles reversed this person could actually be someone from the past but with the five of cups reversed i don't like it because is this like it's like no remorse this person might if you dealt with this person in the past they don't have remorse over what they done to you if they made you feel this way like i described before Two of Swords. This could also be someone... Mm, I don't know. What's up with this King of Wands? Holy Spirit, describe the King of Wands more. Nine of Wands. This, Yeah, this could be someone who's abused you in the past. This could have been your abuser. Three of Swords. This is someone who broke your heart. So what the, it's like they want a new beginning. They want to spark a new flame here. But maybe don't want so many flames because they put enough flames here under your bum. Ten of swords. The, oh, this person's really hurt you. The third of October. Maybe the third of October is significant for some reason. The swords makes me think of Libra season. Ten is ten of swords makes me think of Libra. Libra season. We're in Libra season. Maybe something happened on the 3rd of October, but I don't know what year. Could be this year, could be another year, I don't know. Uh, so this person's hurt you very badly. Uh, they broke your heart, they backstabbed and betrayed you. They could have physically hurt you, so what's up with this person wanting to come back towards you? Holy Spirit, what is up with this person? Okay. King of Pentacles reversed. They want control over you. Nine of Cups reversed. This person, yeah, they're co they want you to be codependent on them. They want to have control over you. They could be obsessed with you, yeah. Because this is Capricorn. King of Pentacles reversed is kind of like devil energy. This is someone very controlling, someone who is like tyrannical. Nine of Cups reversed. This could be overindulging addiction, right? The devil is addiction. They could be addicted to you and to other things too, possibly. Nine of Swords. This person has mental issues. Look at that. This person could also have anxiety. Maybe this person feels like you healed them, like you helped them. Six of Pentacles. They... They either want you to heal them, to help them, or they want to help you. Or they want an equal give and take. Like, they give you certain things and you give them certain things. What does this person want from you exactly? What do they want to give you, first of all? What does this person want to offer you? But with the King of Pentacles reverse, they don't look like they're offering anything. It's like they're coming to take. So what are they offering nothing basically it's a pentacles reversed four of swords healing four of cups reversed they can't take rejection they want to heal the situation they don't have anything much to give uh but because they cannot uh because they need healing they don't want you to reject them they want to get out of depression if this person is depressed knight of wands reversed this person has sex addiction okay knight of king of cups so they think you can heal them because you're the water sign. So I think they feel like you can heal them. Two of Wands. They could be watching you. They could be stalking you. And they have no self-love. So they think... they. It's like someone who wants to drain your energy. They want to take your life force away because they don't have any of their own. The Fool. <sighs> zero. I said they have none of their own. Zero. The Fool is zero. Also, they might want to come towards you in a friendly, playful way. They're flamboyant, possibly. Okay, anything else?
They're peacocking. Okay, Seven of Pentacles. I'm making fun of this person. Okay, so this person... Uh, you could have been separated from this person for a long time. Or you've been with this person already for a long time. But I was getting... Okay. The Fool again. Six of Wands reversed. Ten of Wands reversed. This is like Leo, uh, like the dark side of Leo here. Someone who cannot bear their own burdens. Because in the upright it would be someone who's very powerful, who's strong. This is like strength in reverse. This person cannot lo hold back any longer. They could have been holding back for years. And now they want to come back towards you. Three of Pentacles reversed. Because they feel homeless without you, I think. Queen of Swords. Yes, it's true, I think. This person could be an air sign. Five of Swords. Oh, God. Three of Cups reversed. So, I think... Um, if you reject this person, they'll make a fuss again. They'll, they'll have some kind of tantrum. So, what? So, what? Okay. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Don't give them anything. Don't take anything from them. Three of Wands. Have patience. Five of Pentacles reversed. You will get out of poverty if that's if you have financial issues and you're concerned about that. You'll be fine. Just have patience. Don't take stuff from this person. Don't come out of... They want to come out from the cold. That's the thing. But four of wands reversed. You cannot have stability with this person. They're in unstable. But they want to make a comeback towards you. So what should you do when they come towards you? Five of Wands. Uh-oh. Two of Pentacles. You need to be balanced because this person could come towards you. Like I said, they could cause conflict if you if they don't get what they want. Two of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. You might need to talk about something. So should you talk to this person when they come towards you? Should you give them the time of day to talk? Holy Spirit, show me the truth, please. Holy Spirit, show me the truth. Should they talk to this person? King of Swords is talking, yeah, I guess. Nine of Pentacles reversed. So you could talk, but if they want to bribe you in some kind of way or they want to offer you stability, know that this person is still codependent. They're not stable. You cannot have a stable relationship with this person. <sighs> or maybe talk about codependencies, about what doesn't didn't go well here. So what should you talk about? Knight of Swords. You should talk. I mean, you know what to talk about, I guess. Eight of Cups about this person coming back. So they're coming back to talk, but I don't know what about. So it's like you're supposed to talk, but that's it. Seven of Cups. There's some kind of illusion here. <sighs> some kind of confusion. What's the confusion? Oh god, okay. There's this person could be lying when they come towards you, trying to confuse you. Hmm. Or you could be confused about their motives. Or this person doesn't want me to tell you what they want to talk about here. <sighs> Holy Spirit, what should they talk about with this person who wants to come towards them? What should the water signs talk to this person that wanna come that wants to come towards them? What should the water signs let's see. What's this? Four of Cups reversed. Some kind of rejection. Or getting out of depression. Two of Wands. Making a plan to move forward into love, into a relationship. I think this person or to healing. Does this person... Yes, they want a relationship and they want healing. So I didn't even have time to ask. So should you take this person back? Should you accept this? Um, should you make plans with this person for the future? Ten of Pentacles reversed. No, there's no stability with this person. I think this person is just obsessed with you. Or they think you can heal them. 
Yes, Queen of Cups. So we've got King of Cups, Queen of Cups. We've got a Fool here, but the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. Does this person really love you? Does this person... Nine of Wands, Six of Swords. They just move... They want to move into calmer waters because they caused you a lot of pain. They hurt you and they want to heal this. Also, they could be... Um, They, they could feel guilty for what they did or something. Or they just want to move on. They want to heal that. But it doesn't tell me that they love you here. It just tells me that they want to continue to have some kind of dealing with you. To move into karma waters with you. Six of Cups reversed. The, yeah, they can't get over you. They keep thinking about you. But you have a lot of bad memories with this person. This person could also have some kind of trauma. And they want to heal. Okay, so I think this person wants you to heal, like, together. Or to help them heal. Issues from the past. <sighs> so should you help Queen of Pentacles? I guess... I don't know. I guess you should help this person. How can you help this person, though? Talk to them. They want someone to talk to about their issues, I think. What else? What else? My ear is making a lot of noise, so please tell me, Holy Spirit, what else? Hmm. Is this a lie? What's with the Ace of Swords reverse, please? Holy Spirit, clarify the Ace of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. Maybe just listen to them. Don't talk to them. Just listen to them. Be patient. I don't know. You're not their psychologist, are you? Free therapy. I'm doing free therapy too here, but I'm not qualified, so... <laughs> okay, two of cups. Okay, so love... Love heals, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Self-love heals, but I don't know. Two of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. It's again telling me that to be patient with this person, but don't allow this person to move uh, forward very quickly. Like, just talk to them, I guess. But don't jump into a relationship because this person will not be able to offer you stability. Try to be their friend, maybe. Should you be friends with this person? Should you be friends with this person? Should you be friends with this person? I flipped in reverse, I don't know. Three of Wands reverse, stop waiting. Three of Swords reverse, heal the heartbreak. King of Swords reversed. Yeah, no, no, don't be a friend with this person. So then why? What? And I got the Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. My ears exploding. Holy Spirit, show me the truth, please, about the situation. What should they do with this person? Don't be friends with them. Okay, because I asked that, so I'm told that over and over again now. Don't be friends. For Hold back. Okay, then what's with the Two of Cups then? Why why was I shown the Two of Cups here? Does this person... Is this person trying to convince you that you're their soulmate? That uh, you should be together? Is that why the Two of Cups is here? Knight of Wands reversed. This person's still a player. This person could be very attracted to you. and Maybe that's why they want... I don't know. Knight of Swords. Ten of Cups, Reverse Ten of... Okay, so this needs to end, okay? This definitely needs to end quickly. Because there's no emotional uh, stability or happiness here. This needs to end. This is a cycle that needs to end. So maybe you need to have like a final discussion with this person and finally end it for good. Um, you can't be friends with this person. You can't be lovers with this person. You can't be anything. I want to understand why the Two of Cups is in the upright. But like I said, I think Two of Pentacles. Balance. This person wants to balance 
things out. It, they want to trap you basically in a relationship again. Okay. Queen of Wands reversed. And they'll probably treat you badly again. I don't know. They're, they're obsessed with you sexually, I think, too. Yeah, this person is obsessed with you. This is someone who's obsessed. And uh, they're not healing. King of, again, obsessed. I said obsessed. King of Pentacles reversed. Yeah. There we go. Six of Wands reversed. There's no victory with this person. This person has a toxic ego. Yeah. Oh. So it's like this person's energy trying to sway me. Just like they're going to try to convince you. King of Swords reversed is someone who could be very manipulative. King of Cups is also very could be very manipulative. Especially together with the King of Swords reversed. So this person is going to try to pull at your heartstrings. Eight of Pentacles. But you need to stay to yourself and work on yourself. And leave them out in the cold. Okay? Because they're a burden. There's no wish fulfillment. They're just trying to overstep your boundaries. You've been hurt already. They want to come back. They're going to cause more um, anxiety. Etc. Okay. There we go. So, yeah, I'm tired. Oh my god, the readings for today have been so draining. <laughs> so, so draining. And I feel like an o overarching presence. I feel like someone's going to watch all these readings and that person's draining my energy. Anyway, whatever. Forget me. Bye.